In New York City, a trial began today where the Trump Organization is accused of carrying out a fraud scheme to avoid paying nearly $2 million in taxes. But in a case like this, in this political environment, can prosecutors and defense attorneys find an impartial jury? Donald Trump's not on trial, but his company is accused of avoiding paying income taxes for more than 15 years, including the time Trump was president. The company is charged with nine counts, including conspiracy, tax fraud, falsifying business records. The Manhattan DA's office says the company paid high-ranking executives rent expenses and luxury apartments, private school tuition, leases for luxury cars, and intentionally never accounted for them on the company's payroll taxes. But this is a criminal prosecution of the Trump Organization, and if convicted, they could face major fines, be forced to pay back $1.7 million that was allegedly hidden. The Trump Organization has pled not guilty. Trump has called the trial a hoax. Attorneys looking to seat 12 jurors and six alternates, but so many feel so strongly about Donald Trump, they either love or hate him. And while he isn't on trial himself, his name is on the company. Potential jurors were told today to fill out a survey with 32 questions, including, do you have any strong opinions or firmly held beliefs about former President Donald J. Trump, either positive or negative, that would interfere with your ability to be a fair and impartial juror? One potential juror was dismissed when she said there was no chance in hell of being impartial. Joining me now is Frank Runyon, New York courts reporter for the legal website Law360. He was in the courtroom today. Bias has got to be a huge issue that these lawyers are looking at with respect to jurors. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, on the first day, they called 130 people in. Um, they lost 70. Um, and when the judge asked, uh, you know, is there anybody here that might not be able to be fair and impartial juror, 40 hands flew up. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, they went in, they talked to the judge privately, but when they came back, um, and, you know, walked out of the courtroom, some of us reporters talked to them and said, you know, did you have any, have any bias? You felt like you couldn't. And at least two women um, said, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he was, you know, guilty uh, from the moment uh, that I heard the name. So, uh, you know, I excused myself. So clearly an issue. Um, and they filled out a, a form first, and now they're being questioned second, correct? Uh, the judge asked uh, sort of basically for volunteers for people to select out first. Now we're in voir dire. There's this 32 questionnaire, uh, 32 question questionnaire, yep. um, and they're heading through that. And so that could take uh, the rest of the week, could take the week after that. We'll have to see. Any jurors you think saying they're biased just to get out of having to serve on a jury? Absolutely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no idea, but okay. I mean, you know, there are a lot of people that don't want to be there for one reason or another. Uh, but honestly, I did feel like the people that we spoke to were honest and they said, you know, I just couldn't be impartial in this case. Yeah, I would think that's going to be tough. Frank Runyon, thank you so much for coming in. Apologize for the short conversation. Thanks for having me. This is going to be a tough one to find an impartial jury for. And no matter what happens, you know, people are going to complain about the bias. That does it for us tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.